There's a precision turbo that failed. This is a ball bearing 6266. In this video, I'm gonna show you why this failed and what I had to do to fix it. There's a piece of thread tape that came through the oil feed and clogged up the feed hole for the turbo. And this just caused the no oil pressure to the bearing, which caused the whole turbo to go bad. You're not supposed to put any thread tape or silicone on the feed fitting on the Garrett turbos because they're designed to have a compression fit. Now for the preci precision turbo, these, you know, this is a little bit different design. So you probably do need a way to seal it, but you just have to be careful how you put it on there. I prefer not to use thread tape anyway, but what I prefer to use is a little bit of silicone, but I'll put it at the end of the thread. That way you don't have to worry about it getting somewhere where you don't want it to be. So that costs the guy the whole turbo. The drain is also going to be a problem. But I can fix that. This cage is just completely gone. The front may be okay, but the back, the cage came apart and the tolerances are all out of spec, so it won't be able to be rebuilt. Not with this cage anyway. This bearing housing might be okay. No, it's not okay. It's bad too. Here's some spacers I made and I made some short bolts. I'll show you what I had to do to fix it now. I took this turbine housing, I cut a lot of it off so that I could use this ball bearing center cartridge that we built for this turbo. So I had to replace the whole center cartridge. I could have easily rebuilt this back journal bearing, but the guy wanted to go back ball bearing. So to do that, we had to machine this turbine housing and also machine this piece because we're upgrading it as we're going ball bearing. We could have went to a GTX 3582R compressor wheel and then the 66 or 67 millimeter turbine that we have custom made for the ball bearing center cartridge. But in this one, we use a 66.3 millimeter compressor wheel and a 67 millimeter by 74 millimeter ball bearing turbine that we had custom made. This is a TO4E adapter plate that adapts to the ball bearing center cartridge. This is commonly found on the GT37R and the GTX 3070R with 3071R with the .60 AR compressor housing. So I machined this cover to fit this. Compressor wheel. The, this already fits right in here. This seal plate, because it's a TO4E adapter plate. And then, so mainly I just had to machine it for the compressor wheel. For the turbine housing, I had to do all this machine work. So, mainly so it will fit the turbine wheel and the bearing housing is what I had to machine it to fit. So this goes directly in. It's like a glove. And you can see how it's lower where the bearing housing is. You can only machine it so deep before you start to cut through the housing. So I use these adapter plates to be able to get the tolerances back up and to clamp them down. So I'll put my retaining plates right here that will hold the plate, these adapter pieces down to the bearing housing, which compresses the bearing housing to the turbine housing to hold that in place. So here's a final look. Just like new. So I'd said it's even better. Now that we've upgraded it to a bigger compressor wheel, a Garrett ball bearing center cartridge, 
and a 67 millimeter turbine wheel. This can easily make over 800 horsepower. I had someone make 700 and change on this on 24 pounds of boost on a 3.2 liter six cylinder engine. It's not very common that I machine out the .84 T4s, but this is what the guy had, so this is a pretty cool upgrade to be able to do this to. I just don't really have them, or I just don't really get the chance to do that many of these very often. So it's a twin scroll T4. The thing I like about doing this turbo upgrade is how compact it makes the turbo. See how close the compressor housing is to the turbine housing? It moves the center cartridge farther into the turbine housing, makes the turbo about two inches shorter than the other version that it was.